Hello everyone, this is your master teacher Surabhi. How are you all doing today? So guys, we are meeting after quite a long time. Give me one second. We are meeting after quite a long time today. Uh, I think almost after one week of no SST. So I hope all of you are ready for the sprint series of social studies. And today we are going to do class 6 ke teen chapters. Not one chapter, but three chapters today. The name of the three chapters are what books and burials tell us, kings and kingdoms and new question and ideas. Okay, we are going to do important questions of the chapters and of course we are also going to have the week quiz of the chapter. Right, so welcome, welcome to today's session. Let me go to the slides. Um, welcome to today's session. I hope all of you are doing great. What happened? Yes. Let's see how many children are today. Hi, hi, vlog with Priyanshi. Hi, Purple World. Hi, Harvey. Hi, Shambhavi. Hello, guys. Hi, football lovers. So, guys, before we start the session, quickly give me a yo in the chat box if these chapters are coming in your exam. Are these chapters coming in your exam? All three chapters in your final examinations? Yes. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love from Bangalore. Great. Great. Okay, so guys, welcome to today's session. You know me, I'm your social studies educator, Surabhi Gupta. I have done my bachelor's from Lady Sri Ram College and my master's from Jawaharlal Nehru University. And that's a little bit about me. Now, before we start the session, let's go over a dose of motivation. The best brains of the nation may be found in the last benches of the classroom. This dialogue, this line jo hai APJ Abdul Kalam ne boli thi, jis mein unhone kaha tha ki, dekho, you know, we usually think that it is the toppers who's going to lead the nation. But often it happens that the person who's sitting on the last bench actually, uh, you know, might have a lot of potential. So all of you who might be a little stressed out right now, who might be thinking ki, yaar, we didn't study the entire year properly, it's okay because sprint is here for you. We are here for you to make sure that your revision goes well, that we do the important questions for you guys so that it, you know, it becomes easy for you as we go ahead. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Karthik. Only one chapter is coming. New question and ideas. Koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. Chalo. Yes, of course, there's going to be a B quiz as well. There's going to be a B quiz as well. Right? Yes, we will do the rest of the chapters. Guys, don't worry. Sare chapters hum karenge sprint series. Mein. Okay? So, do not worry about that. Let us start with the chapter, what books and burials tell us. So, I'm going to have a very quick rapid fire round. And even if you're watching the replay of the session, keep on answering. If not in the chat box, maybe in the comment section below. So, that it could be like a good revision. What books and burials tell us when we talked about books? We talked about the oldest book. Which is the oldest book? that we know of in the Sanskrit language of the subcontinent. Yes, you are right. If you have answered, which book? Konsi book hai sabse purani kitab? Love from Sikkim? Okay. And mating. Yes, it is Rig Veda. It is Rig Veda. So, chalo, let's go over the important points of the chapter. Now, guys, I'm going to remove myself from the screen for a little while. Uh, do not worry. I will also be sharing the PDF of the session. Okay? So, one of the oldest books of the world was Rig Veda. Then you have your Sam Veda, Atharva Veda, Yajur Veda. In Sari Veda books, mein you have like the dialogue, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the text is in the form of a dialogue or a hymn, which is called Sukta. Sukta matlab well said. It is an old, it is written in old or Vedic Sanskrit, which is very different from the Sanskrit that we use today. Right? Now, how did historians actually study Rig Veda? They examined the written sources, they examined the books and you know through the dialogues that were written in these books, they understood what was important in society, right? For example, by reading the hymns of the book, they understood that cattle, horses and chariots were actually considered to be very valuable in society in the ancient times. People used to pray for cattle. You know, people used to uh, have horses on their chariots and go to battles with it. Why did they go to battle? They would go to battle for land, for water and to capture people. 
some get uh, some uh, you know some some of now the wealth that they would collect from the battle would then be distributed amongst the leaders some were given to the priests and the rest were distributed to the public right okay going back to this slide now uh, next we look at acha before before idhar udhar hona padega what were what was the words that were used to describe the people of ancient times so the words that were used to describe the people were aryas aryas were used to describe the people who would who were who used to write the vedas then you have the das or the dasyu they were the slaves they were the people who would live in the forest who had a different lifestyle than the people of the village then you have the vish or vaishya or jana that is the people of the village and then you have rajas priests and brahmans right these were different words that were used to describe the people all right now the next part of the chapter that was books what do burials tell us so guys burials you if you look at the what are the features of the burials one us time the dead would often be buried in pots ya fir in the southern part of india and kashmir we have found that the dead were buried under the ground and there would be a huge megalith or a large stone that would be placed where they were buried so that if you want to come and visit them then you know that place is recognizable you know to mark the burial sites so huge stone boulders were used in north east and kashmir area right uh next we talked about inamgao a special burial was there in inamgao where the bodies were buried uh, buried and along with them you also had food that used to get buried food and water because us time pe logo ko ye lagta tha ki if you are you know after you have died then uh, you know maybe in the after life you will be needing these items the site was on river ghod and adults were buried straight with their head towards the north right some of the uh, some of the people uh, would often be buried with their families for example today the father dies after 10 years the mother dies then the mother would also be buried in the same burial ground you know there would be a stone right and there would be cist through which you can go into the burial ground and bury the members of the same family together right now burials can also tell us a lot about the social differences that existed during that time for example some people would be buried with gold and with lots of pots and lots of food that means that they came from a very good and you know well to do family while others would only be buried with just a few pots and that's it that means they came from a less well to do family right so these are guys i hope clear ho raha hai hai na now what are the occupations that people did at inamgao in amgaon mein people uh, did agriculture they uh, you know planted seeds of pulses rice barley and wheat they also ate bones of animals like cattle goat sheep and horse and they also collected fruits like bear amla jamun and dates right so guys that was what books and burials tell us theek hai very easy chapter these are the only important points of that chapter that you need to remember ha we quiz bhi hoga aaj we quiz bhi hoga aaj theek hai chalo let's go on to the next chapter kingdoms kings and the republic please do chapter 3 and chapter 7 matlab jo aaj chapter mein nahi kar rahi hu wo chapter karna chahiye mujhko i'll do all the chapters guys don't worry chalo Let's start with kingdoms, kings, and republic. I'm going to remove myself from the screen. So the first part of the chapter was how some men become rulers, है ना? So by this time in history, we see that people, you know, kings have started emerging. क्योंकि अभी तक क्या था? Whoever was considered to be a brave person, a strong person, the who that person was considered to be the warrior, है ना? The raja. But now we have a proper raja that are emerging of proper territories. so how did men become rulers they would perform big sacrifice sacrifices like the ashwamedha uh, sacrifice or the horse sacrifice where you know the the king would release a horse and the horse would go across different kingdoms and if the horse comes back to the king that means that the king is the ruler of all those kingdoms that the horse passed by matlab for example agar mere kingdom mein that horse is passing but i don't want to be under the king then i will attack the horse and that is my way of attacking the king 
right? When the horse would come back to the king, the king would sacrifice the horse and perform the yajna, where the rulers of all the kingdoms that have been won come and give, uh, you know, gifts to the king, right? And that is how men became rulers. Then the second part, and, sorry, yes, yeah, so, uh, wait a second. The second part is Janapad. So guys, Janapad is the land where the Jana has set its foot. But the kingdom over which the king is ruling is called the Janapad. Janapad means where Jan ke logo ke pad pair pade, where the feet of the people have rested. Right? So we have found settlements of Janapads in Purana Kila Delhi, Hastinapur Merat and Akranji Khera in Eta. Right? Not just Mahab Janapads, we also know that some kings had a large territory under them. They were called the Mahajanpads. What were they called? The Mahajanpad. Right? Now, jo Mahajanpad hote the, they also had a capital city. They also had a port. A great deal of planning. The king would, you know, do a great deal of planning. Ki kaha par port honge, kaha market hoga, vagara, vagara. Enormous labor was required to plan this, to uh, construct temples, to construct palaces. And the kings also, you know, to maintain that Maha Chanpat required a huge army. If you are a king and you have a huge territory under you, to protect that territory, you will require a huge army. Now, to have an army, you need money also. King is not born with money. Na? Paida hota hi, paise bhi aare hai, nahi, right? The king got his money from the taxes that he imposed on his people. So, what kind of taxes were imposed during ancient times? One sixth of the produce pay, one, uh, there was tax. So, whatever, if you are producing 20 kg, then one sixth of 20 kg had to be given to the king as tax. The craftsperson also had to uh, give tax in the form of labor. For example, if I was in ancient times, then I would probably have to teach the king's children for free for one month. You know, something like that. Hunters and gatherers had to give tax in the form of forest produce. Goods, when they are bought and sold through trade, then tax had to be given. For example, if I am a trader and I am going through your territory, then I have to give tax to the king for selling my items there. And herders had to give tax in the form of animals. Okay? Now, let's come to changes in agriculture. So, we see that during this time, agriculture may be bhoat sare changes aate hai. There is growing use of iron plowshare. Pehle kya hota tha? Wooden plowshare use hota tha. Ab iron plowshare use hone laga, which was much more sturdy and made the soil, made the soil ready for cultivation. And paddy transplantation hone laga. Paddy matlab rice. So when we talk about rice, rice requires water logged soil. If you have ever seen paddy, to bhoat sara paani bhara rehta hai. But jo chote rice ke plants hote the, they used to die in so much water. So, this is the time when transplantation of paddy started, where small plants of rice were planted elsewhere and when they grew a little, that is when they were transplanted in the field, right? So, transplantation of paddy hua, okay? Now, the next part of the chapter is, ma'am, can you tell who is the last Mughal emperor? Bahadur Shah Zafar was the last Mughal emperor, Tanya, okay? Chalo. Now let's look at uh, Magadh and Baji. So Magadh, jo tha, the, it, it, it was a kingdom. Where the old capital of Magadh was Patriputra and the new capital of Magadh, Magadh was Rajagriha. Patriputra is what we call present day Patna. We have two powerful rulers of Magadh, Bimbi Sara and Ajata Satru. Right? Ganga and Son were important rivers that flowed through Magadh and they were used for transportation. The good thing about Magadh is because you had a lot of rivers flowing through that region, soil was fertile and the region was prosperous. Iron tools was used to make tools and weapons. Iron use hona. So we have come into the Iron Age. And forests were used to train elephants in the army. Right? The next kingdom that we see during this time, the Mahajanapad, is Baji. Now guys, Baji jo hai, uh, achha, Rajgriha was the old capital and Patliputra was the new capital. Sorry. Alright. Chalo. Now let's talk about Vaji. Now if you talk about Vaji, the capital is Vaishali. Vaji jo hai was unlike Magad. Magad mein you had one ruler. But Vaji mein you had a government that was formed in the form of a Sangh. 
Sang matlab you had like the Vaji kingdom was divided into different small states, just like India is divided into different states, and each state was ruled by a Sang, or it was ruled by one ruler. Right, all of them came together in a sung, and uh, they would together make decisions for the kingdom. For example, decisions like whether we need to go to war or not. Buddha and Bahavira actually came from Vaji, and uh, the rajas together performed rituals. Ma'am, what were the taxes imposed on kings by emperors? Uh, Ananya, there is no such thing that is given in your book. Okay. Ma'am, why iron tools were buried in burials later? Vaishnavi, one of the reasons why why anything was buried with the uh, with with the bodies was because there was a belief that the people would use it in their afterlife. Hena? Magad, may you can say Bimbi Sara and Ajata Satru were some of the important rulers. Okay, there were three rulers. Oh, who was the third ruler? Bata do. Alright, now let's come on to the third topic or the third chapter. Ma'am, what did the king use of animals? Ha. Huh? So Ananya, animals were used in warfare or they would use it for food or domestication. Okay? Chalo. Let's go over the chapter jo aap sab demand kar rahe the, and that is new question and ideas. Right? Again, a very simple question, very simple chapter. Which starts with the story of Buddha. So, story of Buddha actually here. I, I, I couldn't put it uh, in that slide. So, what is the story of Buddha? Just a second. Story of Buddha ji, jo hai, he belonged to the Shakya Gana. And he was a Kshatriya who was born 2500 years ago. He is known to be the founder of Buddhism. You know his story that he left his palace. He went to the jungle for enlightenment. He wanted to understand what is life, what is death, why there is so much suffering in the world, right? Uh, he found enlightenment under a people tree uh, at Bodh Gaya, right? And then he continued taking his teachings elsewhere, right? Ab unki teaching kya thi? His teaching was that life jo hai, zindagi jo hai, it is full of suffering. It is full of unhappiness. Why is it full of suffering and unhappiness? Because all of us have desires. All of us have tanha. Matlab, continuously, we have desires, hai, insatiable desires. When once, when, if our one desire is fulfilled, we have another desire that comes up. Right? Then people, he said that people should, achha, that is why he said that we should have balance in life. We should have moderation in life. We should neither be too happy nor too sad. Right? He, said, he said that people should be kind to each other. We should respect everybody including animals. The language that he used was Prakrit language in order to spread his message. Ha, we quiz hoga. Ye chapter ke baad hoga. Time lagega. Wait karna padega aapko. Right? Next we talk about Jainism. So guys, Jainism may, uh, you know, the, it spread in northern parts of India. Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat. Jainism also, like Buddhism, talks about leaving the world, leaving the uh, worldly affairs and luxuries of the world and going into the jungle and meditating. They said that men and women should leave their houses and find truth or satya. They also very uh, strictly followed non-violence or ahimsa, where they were not even allowed to kill an ant, right? So it was that uh, uh, strict. Uh, lifestyle is very simple. They are, they, it's absolute honesty. They were not supposed to work. They were only supposed to uh, earn their living through a big shoe or through, uh, you know, begging. No stealing was allowed. They, they have 24 Tirthankara, something like a, 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 a Mahavira. 24 Tirthankara, 24 Gurus who gained enlightenment, right? So that is Jainism. Yes. Mahavira was the 24th Tirthankara. Vardhamma Mahavira. Right? Ma'am, you have a video class 6 in which you have a lot of session in which you have a chapters in the session. I think Utkarsh. I think that was the mid-term marathon. Mid-term marathon. Hoga was there. But I have told you that the leaders of Magad are the leaders of Magad. How do we know that Buddha got enlightenment under the people tree? Very good question, Vaishnavi. Uh, you know because I am telling you from history book. But wo, you know that was something Buddha himself talks about. And it is written in a lot of books. Okay? Alright. Now, 
अरे यार कौन फोन कर रहा है ओके चलो नाउ द फोर्थ पार्ट इज द संग पॉपुलर इन बुद्धिस्ट ट्रेडिशन Right now, these the monasteries they where the Buddhists live, the houses where they live were called the viharas, right? Uh, and uh, vicharas, the viharas. And sometimes during rainy season, the Jains and Buddhists would make a cave-like structure in mountains to protect themselves, right? Charo. Acha. The next part is the Upanishads. Just like in Buddhism and Jainism, in Hinduism we have something called the Upanishads, where uh, which you know which are nothing but simple stories that were written during that time. Upanishad का मतलब है sitting down, uh, approaching someone, right? Uh, where uh, you know people started talking about the the people who had lot of knowledge and enlightenment started giving lessons about life after death. Why should we perform rituals, etc., etc. they believed in the concept of atma that is individual soul and brahma that is universal soul what were the questions that upanishad thinkers wanted to answer they wanted to answer we'll do that question by the way niche but they wanted to answer questions like what happens to us when we die where does the atma go why should we perform sacrifices vagera theek hai चलो द फाइनल पार्ट इज द सिस्टम ऑफ आश्रम्स नो गाइस हिंदुइज्म एक्चुअली टॉक्ड अबाउट द सिस्टम ऑफ आश्रम्स व्हेयर दे सेड दैट नो यू डू नॉट लीव नीड टू लीव योर फैमिली एंड गो इनटू द जंगल यू नीड टू फॉलो द फोर आश्रम्स इन लाइफ द फर्स्ट इज द सन्यास व्हिच यू नो सॉरी द फर्स्ट इज द ब्रह्मचर्य इट्स ऑल मिक्स्ड अप द फर्स्ट इज द ब्रह्मचर्य दैट इज यू गाइस स्टूडेंट्स यू नो हु आर स्टडीइंग द वेदास एंड योर अर्ली इयर्स then you have the grihas that is when you get married and live as a householder then you have the vanaprastha when you go into the jungle live a very simple life meditate and finally you have sanyas when you give up everything and become a sanyasi right ab before we go into uh, the you know before uh, guys the rest of the chapter we are going to be discussing ek second please give me one second uh through questions theek hai the rest of the chapter we will discuss through questions ma'am what are the two streams of buddhism mahanaya hinayana but guys again we'll do it right now all right why did the rajas of mahajanpads build forts we quiz hoga hoga we quiz why did the rajas of mahajanpad build forts the rajas built their forts because they wanted to defend their city against the attack of their enemies right they also wanted to show how rich and powerful they were by building beautiful forts also their three points one they wanted to protect second they wanted to show their rich and power and third they also you know it is easier to rule a fortified city it is easier to rule a city where there is a wall around Right, so because the population is inside. Write a short note on the governance system in Ganas or Sanghas. So Gana or the Sangha system, uh, you know, was was prevalent in kingdoms or Mahajanpad like Vaji, where we see that there is no one raja but many rajas who come together and take decisions. Women, das, and kamakaras were not allowed to participate in these assemblies. ठीक है, right? Next class is next week. What are the different roles of different person in sacrifice? तो जब अश्वमेध यज्ञ होता है, after during the यज्ञ, the राजा is the central figure. All other kings from other kingdoms give gifts to the राजा. People from the kingdom, the Vaishyas come and also give gifts to the rajas. Right, the charioteer, the person who actually rides the horse, tells very fabulous stories about Raja. That you know, Raja is so strong, Raja is so brave. His wives and sons would perform, you know, small small rituals. Women, however, lower class, the the untouchables, they were not allowed to be a part of the ritual. ठीक है? All right. Who were the Upanishad thinkers? So, guys, the Upanishadic thinkers, who are, they were usually Brahmins and Rajas. 
right occasionally you also see that some women have been a part of upanishad uh, of upanishadic debates for example gargi okay ma'am when will quiz happen after the questions what is monasteries monasteries are uh, so eventually buddhists realize that they need a permanent place to live and that is when they live they build monasteries or viharas it is said that the brahmins were the one who divided the caste ma'am one sh shot tha acha one shot tha uh, pata nahi fir state two basic rules of jainism the jains had to beg for food and they had to be absolutely honest what does the vinaya pataka say about buddhist sangha vinaya pataka talk about how men and women had different branches children had to get permission from their parents to join the uh, to join the sangha to join the uh, you know to join them in the forest those who who worked for for the king had to take permission of the king the debtors had to take permission of their creditors women had to take permission from their husband theek okay? hai write the main social differences as have been found by the archaeologists and megaliths so guys megaliths mein we found some dead bodies with only a few parts and we have found some uh, dead bodies for example uh, in brahmagiri one skeleton was found buried with 33 gold beads two stone beads four copper bangles and one couch cell that shows that that person was from a richer family theek hai in what ways do you find that the life of a raja was different from that of a das or a dasi तो गाइस आप इसमें बोलोगे कि जो राजा होते थे दे वर द किंग्स ऑफ द कम्युनिटी बट अ दास और अ दासी वाज नथिंग बट अ स्लेव हु डिड ऑल द वर्क दे वर ट्रीटेड एज प्रॉपर्टी बाय देयर ओनर्स एंड दे वर जब भी वॉर होता था दास एंड द दासी वुड बी कैप्चर्ड बाय द किंग्स ठीक है इन व्हाट वेज आर द बुक्स दैट वी रीड टुडे डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ऋग्वेद ऋग्वेद जो है दे वर रिटर्न ऑन यू नो ऑन नॉट ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर बट ऑन पाम लीव एंड बाक्स ऑफ अ बर्ड ट्री दे वर रिटर्न इन वेदिक संस्कृत वेल टूडे वी डू नॉट यूज संस्कृत इन आर नॉर्मल एवरी डे लाइफ ठीक है मैम वाई वर वुमेन इल ट्रीटेड बिकॉज इन सोसाइटी देन वुमेन वर नॉट कंसिडर्ड टू बी सेपरेट इंडिविजुअल्स दे वर कंसिडर्ड टू बी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हजबेंड्स हु वर द नथपंक्ति बेटा सेवन स्टैंडर्ड का क्वेश्चन है Hena? what changes took place in agriculture around this time is during this time we see that iron plowshare started being used and people started doing paddy uh, transplantation which led to increased production and many plants survived theek okay? hai what were taxes explained to maha janpad rulers who had a huge territory had to maintain an army to protect their territory but to sustain the army they needed money for which they collected taxes so they collected one sixth of the whole crop as tax that was called bhag or share labor taxes was collected where every artisan or every trader you know or uh, the person jaise a blacksmith ho gaya teacher ho gaya they had to give tax in the form of labor and per people who were trading also had to pay taxes theek hai who was leading this all i didn't understand the question how today's elections to choose rulers are different from elections that took place in janpad around 3000 years ago so guys 3000 years ago mein to we did not have any kind of elections there were kings today however we have uh, a proper election system last time the kings only had to show their power by doing yagyas called the ashwamedha yagya explain the system of ashrams and who were expected to follow the ashram so guys the word ashram was used for the stage of life so brahmins kshatriyas and vaishyas were expected to follow the ashram system where i told you there are four ashrams you have the brahmachari grihastha vanaprastha and sanyas which i have already explained theek hai quiz hoga quiz hoga aane wala hai list some important lessons and ideas from this chapter go so guys uh, from this chapter wah wow, kya question hai so guys isme buddhism for example buddha ji says that everyone our life is full of uh, you know uh, 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 full of uh, 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 kya kehte hain pain and suffering because our ambitions because our desires never gets fulfilled we should try to never harm any living thing that is what uh, buddhism jainism teaches us 
Upanishad thinkers also talks about afterlife, about how we we have an atma, and there is a universal soul called the Brahma, right? Describe Buddha's life in brief, so you can talk about Siddhartha Gautama, how he how he was a Shatriya, but at a very young age he left the comfort of his houses to go into the jungle to gain enlightenment. Where he gained enlightenment in Bodh Gaya. After that he was known as Buddha, the wise one. He went to some and he started taught, teaching people. Right? He traveled and preached for the rest of his life. He talks about Tanha, Karma, and he died in Kusinara. ठीक है? All right. Discuss food at Inam Gao as archaeologists have found different proofs from different sites. So guys, archaeologists have found wheat, barley, rice, pulses, millets, etc. We have also found fruits like amla, jamun. We also think that because we have, you know, we have found animals with teeth marks on them. That means that animals were domesticated for food. For example, sheep, dog, horse, ass, pig, sambar, etc. ठीक है? What does the Rig Veda tell us about battles? The Rig Veda talks about how battles were fought for cattle, for grazing, and for water, and to capture people. Whatever wealth was collected during battle was distributed between the raja, between the priest, and the rest of the people. ठीक है? There was no one raja, but whoever can was considered to be the strong person was considered to be the warrior or the raja of the people. All right. How have people in society been depicted in Rig Veda? So you can talk about that people have been depicted according to the work that they do. For example, Raja, Brahmins, and priest. They have also been divided, uh, you know, according to the people, like the work. So, so by Vaishyas, the people who have lived in the community, the Das, that were the different people who were slaves, who were properties, right? All right, so guys, that is what we have done today. We have done the important mind maps of the chapter. We have done the important questions of all three chapters, and now we are going to be doing the quiz. So you need to go to www.vquiz.in, put in the code double two eight zero seven six, and then we'll start. We don't say how did Buddha die. I, I'm not sure, but we don't say he died. We say that he gained salvation, right? He he got mukti. So we don't use the word. We should. I don't know. I think he went in a state where he gave up the world. Double two eight zero seven six. I am going to also go to the. All right. Jaldi se aaja. The code is double two eight zero seven six, and the link is niche. In the description box, guys. I guys, please don't ask such specific questions. I don't even know Buddha Ji's seer. Me, Marie, Google it. No, I'm not Google. No, you know you will not get questions like this in the exam. Ma'am, there are many women freedom fighters. Utkarsh, we are talking about ancient times. You are not talking about modern times. Just freedom fighting only. Thi, hai na? No, I don't have a dog. All right. Question number one is: What was the use for entering the burial places? What was used for entering the burial places? Stone holes, port holes, surface holes, or burial holes? Bataya to women freedom fighters nahi the ancient times mein, wo modern times mein the ancient times mein they were ill treated. Not ill treated. They were just not considered as separate individuals, hai na? Guys, port holes, the जो छोटे-छोटे areas हैं जहाँ से people are entering to go into the burial ground, that is called the port hole. That is called the port hole. Seven standard की video भी आ रही है, आ रही है. Guys, there is going to be a video on Friday and Saturday. ठीक है, Saturday को, Friday को it is for seven standard and Saturday eleven o'clock in the morning it is for eight standard. Which one of the following was not the currency used during later Vedic age? Rupee, Nishka, Krishmen, ya Satmana. Guys, rupee was not a currency that was used. Obviously, rupee jo hai kafi modern currency hai. Rishi Aditya Kusum Aghash Adli and Amrita ke points hai abhi. Baki sab zero pe atke huye hai. Hai na? 
one of the dialogues in the rig veda is between river vyas satluj or ek dialogue hai rig ved mein wo kitne beech mein dialogue hai these rivers that means were quite important during that time yes the answer is विश्वमित्र एक बच्चे ने वैष्णवी ने आंसर दिया चैट बॉक्स में आई थिंक शी ओनली हैज आंसर्ड करेक्टली नो वन एल्स है ना छोटा नागपुर प्लाटो हैज बीन रिच इन आयरन और कोल एल्यूमिनियम या माइका कौन से हिस्ट्री के चैप्टर का क्वेश्चन है ये आई थिंक ये गलती से दे पुट आई डोंट नो सम ज्योग्राफी क्वेश्चन But yes, all of you are in at least in the chat box answering correctly. Iron ore, iron ore. Question number five is, who was the founder of the Nanda dynasty? Mahananda, Padma Nanda, Mahapuru, Mahapadma Nanda. Ma'am, eighth standard ka sprint kab hoga? Friday ko. Friday ko hoga. ठीक है? time stops now and the answer is mahapadma nanda mahapadma vanda all right good job a form of government ye kya ho raha hai chalo koi baat nahi a form of government in which the power is held by the people or group of elected person or an elected chief is called ऑटो ये सिविक्स का क्वेश्चन कैसे आ गया आई थिंक किसी और का वीक वेज आ गया है यहाँ पर ऑली गोपली रिपब्लिक या मिलिट्री कोई बात नहीं सिविक्स रिवाइज कर रहे हैं हम लोग आज के उसमें हाँ रिपब्लिक इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट जहाँ पर लोग अपने लीडर्स को इलेक्ट करते हैं उसको हम रिपब्लिक बोलते हैं है ना गुड जॉब गुड जॉब क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन इज चंपा वॉज अ ग्रेट पोर्ट इन अंगा मगद कुरु या मल्ला वाह अन्वेषा आर यू श्योर लॉट्स ऑफ यू आर आंसरिंग करेक्टली हिमांशी मैम यूर एज वाय Guys, the answer is actually not Kuru. It is Anga. Anga, great port in Anga. ये तो मैं भी confused हो गई थी. But Anga is the correct answer. Question number eight is, who went from door to door to find out whether anybody died there? Rajula, Ahilya, Kisa, Gautami, या Sita. एक story है Buddha और एक one woman के बीच में, जिसमें the woman is saying that you know please bring my son back. He has died. The Buddha says go door to door to door and find out if there is any house where death has not taken place yes kisa gautami is absolutely correct so abhi leaderboard ko agar hum dekhe to aghash rishi kusum edlin aditi amrita uday bhuba avantika abhi on top and correct question number 9 is at what age did mahavira leave home and went to live in the forest No, 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 no. Yes, the answer is at the age of thirty. Sorry, गलती से मैंने कर दिया. At the age of thirty is the correct answer. And the final question of the day: Where did Buddha go to teach for the first time? Ringas, Gaya, Sikhar, or Sarnath? सबसे पहले Buddha जी कहाँ गए पढ़ाने? नहीं हिमांशी वो आंसर नहीं है सोच लो अच्छा जनरल नॉलेज के लिए आपको एज जाननी है अच्छा सारनाथ इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो लेट अस लुक एट द लीडर बोर्ड ऑफ द डे वी हैव कुसुम सिंह हु हैज और हु हैज ऑन हु इज बीन ऑन टॉप आकाश को सेकंड पोजीशन पे डाल दिया कुसुम सिंह ने एंड देन वी हैव एडलिन विलाडा 
सो गुड जॉब गाइज गुड जॉब आई थिंक क्विजेस में क्विज अब अगली बार मैं देखूंगी कि क्वेश्चन सिर्फ चैप्टर से आए थोड़े अजीब से क्वेश्चन थे राइट और राइट सो दैट इज इट गाइज डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू गिव अ थम्स अप टू दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ऑफ यंग वाइंडर्स क्योंकि यहाँ पर हम स्प्रिंट सेशन ला रहे हैं आपके लिए सेवन्थ और एथ के लिए भी एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स गाइज वन लास्ट थिंग इफ देर इज एनी चैप्टर दैट यू वॉन्ट मी टू डू जल्दी से मुझे कॉमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताना क्योंकि वो वाले चैप्टर को हम स्प्रिंट सीरीज में लाएंगे दिस इज यूर वास्ट टीचर्स विल बी साइनिंग आउट बाय